this comparing system you get the answer the next molecule is phosphorus pentachloride pcl5 there are three chlorine atoms in the plane and cl uh, one cl uh, above and below the plane so it of course does not have a special geometry of the structure because uh, you know the the phosphorus chlorine bonds are certain elongated bonds so i would not say that it has any special so rather it has a trigonal bipyramidal kind of structure which we generally call as tvb structure if you ask about the principal axis it will be one which will contain chlorine phosphorus and chlorine bond making it c3 and if further you are asked does it have three c2s think of it yes it has each c2 axis is passing through the horizontal chlorine phosphorus bonds and therefore your answer is yes you are asked the next question does it have sigma h yes all the three chlorine and phosphorus in the plane have the sigma h property of this kind because it is perpendicular to c3 axis your answer is yes you go to a d group point group is dnh and since n is 3 you will say the point group is d3h this is the same point group of boron trifluoride so just look at the structure for comparison further going for the sub variations you will find this molecule where there is two fluorine atoms and three chlorine atoms in in a plane and the axial bonds are containing phosphorus fluorine bonds so the point is if we look from the symmetric considerations it is same as we have discussed earlier you know symmetry is not changed even though you have replaced fluorine with chlorine atoms so from symmetric considerations this point group should also have the same that is dth symmetry now there is a problem here in this question one axial bond is containing chlorine and another axial bond is containing chlorine so i would suggest you to identify the point group you forget one of the odd bond so just forget about pf bond and now look at the p cl cl cl3 bond so there are three centers and one apex of chlorine if you are forgetting fluorine what is left is three phosphorus chlorine bonds in a plane and one below the plane that makes it is a trigonal planar kind of system so the questions automatically you know you can dismiss these questions a principal axis would be c3 which is again passing through the fluorine phosphorus chlorine bond c3s are perpendicular to three c2s now this time it is not possible because the axial bond pf bond and the pcl bond they are not equivalent so the next question is does it have sigma h if you put a sigma h this way uh, perpendicular or the horizontal way the fluorine would be exchanged by chlorine that would not give a superimposable configuration so you must say that sigma h is absent instead there are vertical planes you will say yes and therefore the point group is c and v and being 3 that point group is c3v so it's that simple the next example would be tlf3 which we generally call is a t shaped molecule if you just compare this structure uh, you will say that you can fit this structure to somewhere in the category of water molecule the principal axis is c2 uh, are c2s perpendicular to two c2s this is one c2 this way of course there is no other c2 sigma is present no c2 is collinear with vertical planes and therefore we will see that does it has a sigma b you say yes sigma b is there point group is c and v and being two point group is c2v so structurally you know this has to be equivalent to that of water with hoh bond this is the simple molecule a simple case where sulfur example right there are flow four sulfur fluorine bonds in a plane and vertical to it and the and the actual bonds are occupied with sulfur uh, fluorine bonds uh, so this has a square pyramidal kind of geometry you can simply say that it has a special geometry you say yes it is a special molecule it has an octagonal shape then the point group is straightforward is oh there is no other consideration so for symmetric molecules of square bipyramidals that becomes octahedrals are having the point group of oh there is no further discussion required if we talk about this kind of molecule icl4 minus molecule you will say it has a special geometry does not have any special geometry but uh, if you say what is the structure of this it is demonstrated that it must be have a planar structure and if it has a planar structure straightforward i would say the point group is d4h and no want to note something all the time we need not bother about symmetry properties you just make some inspection and identify the molecular point group in the coming video we'll be discussing about about obtaining the point group without actually identifying the symmetry properties on the basis of the pre-made structures brf5 a taj mahal four points in a base and one in the apex point so this has a square pyramidal kind of case it must be a c4b symmetry keep on asking yourself and you will get the answer 
it has a C4 Vissa battery. Yes. Now, this is the ferrocene molecule, dicyclopentadienyl iron, a very beautiful molecule. This is a sandwich complex where iron has been sandwiched into two cyclopentadienyl rings. It has a structure or geometry which we call as, as a D5H geometry. And therefore, you can say that it has a principal axis of C5. C5 is perpendicular to 5C2. Your answer would be yes. It has a sigma H, yes. Point group should be DNH. And n being 5, it must be D5H. Remember that this has an eclipse structure. Uh, this Steger conformation would have some different geometry and symmetry, of course. This is the molecule which has a Steger conformation. It's not an eclipse conformation here. This molecule has uh, no spatial geometry. Its structure is sandwich complex again, a uh, ferrocene. And uh, this has a very difficult, a very different case. It has a C5 axis, but S10 axis as well. So if S10 axis is existing here, then the point group goes to be S10. Then, then the axis is S10. But then we ask you whether C5 is perpendicular to 5C2. You say yes. And if it is so, the next question is, does it have sigma H? You say no, because this is a staggered conformation. Then you further ask you, does it have sigma D? First question is about sigma H. Second question is about sigma D. And third question is about no sigma. But here if sigma H is not there, we are looking forward for sigma D. And sigma D exists in all such molecules uh, where there are C2s perpendicular to principal axis of this kind. And therefore the point group is typically D and D. And being 5, so point group is D5, D. So remember, the staggered conformation has a D and D kind of symmetry. Whereas the eclipse conformation of such molecules would have a D5H or D NH kind of symmetry. Now you can ask to identify the point groups of the following chloro derivatives and I left this for you to determine the point groups and we may discuss it some other time. Similarly, I would also ask you to identify what kind of point group does it have. As a hint, I suppose this is equivalent to that of ferrodite. It has dichloroethene kind of structure that we have discussed in case of CNH symmetry. Uh, so just think about it and solve the answer. You can also determine the point group of POCL3. Forget about PO, just compare PCL, CL, CL. It looks something like ammonia and then find point group. Similarly, if you say the chromium sandwich complex of benzene, this must have a D6H symmetry and the staggered form must have a different symmetry. What it is, please find it out for yourself. Also, I am writing certain molecules to identify the point group and we'll discuss these answers at some other place. There are more examples if you want to find out the symmetries. Work out for yourself and maybe we'll be talking about the solutions some other time or some in some different videos. Then this is all for now. Decide the structures and determine the point group. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.